everybody i am back yay oh my god you guys always out under the weather but guess what i'm back and i am showing you guys how to make the most perfect barbecue macaroni cheese meatloaf yes she said it right barbecue macaroni cheese meatloaf yes it is a thing and i'm doing it here so without let's just get started let's not waste no time it's been a long time in the bowl I have a three pound roll of ground beef and I also had two pounds of ground turkey and I have all my seasonings and everything and my bread crumbs and my Duke's mayonnaise so you know if you see my meatloaf videos my hamburger videos my turkey hamburgers you know I put mayonnaise in my ground beef in my meatloaf in my hamburger and guys we're just going to stir this up you know I'm using this psych I use that to put the um, mayonnaise in. Hands been washed. Everything is seasoning. My eggs are in here. And we're going to mix until you get it all up in there. Y'all know I got my parsley in there, right? Hi. <laughs> and the kids are eating good. I got a homemade cornbread in the oven. Got some broccoli on deck and macaroni cheese. Now, guys, when you make this, you want to use a cold macaroni and cheese. So, like, when you make your macaroni and cheese, you want it to get stiff. You know, it'd be like make it the day before, put it in the refrigerator, because you want it nice and cold, and you want it stiff. So that when you put it in your um, hamburger, it won't be drooling all over the place. And so just season your meat with the seasons that you use. Mix them up well. Like I'm doing, remember this is turkey and three pounds of ground beef. My oven is preheated on 375. This will cook like an hour and 15 minutes. You don't want to dry it up. You want it done. You want it, oh God, it's going to be so good. Okay. Whew. Did I just get a workout? I don't even know if I got all my strength back yet. But I'm going to move this to the side. I need to get my pan. Let me wash my hands, move this to the side, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I took half of my meat, my meat, <laughs> my meat mixture and I placed it on a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil and I'm just gonna make a um, meatloaf. I'm gonna shape it into the loaf, how I want it. Half my mixture is already here, you guys. And I'm shaping my meatloaf. Use the back of my hand. I'm trying to make a dent, like a well. With it. Because guess what? You know what's going to happen there, right? The back of your hand. Okay, grab me a paper towel real quick. Now, my macaroni and cheese. And it's going in there. You can put as much as mac and cheese as you want in here. It's up to you guys. So when you cut into it, the macaroni and the cheese is going to ooze out of here. Look at that, this homemade macaroni and cheese I made, guys. Look at that, look at that top on my macaroni and cheese. I'm loving it. Oh, trust and believe, this already been made for the family, what, last month? I think I made it last month. And they was like, oh, you ain't putting enough mac and cheese in here. So I'm filling it up. Remember, 
I give you the recipes. It's your kitchen. You do what you do. Now, I take some extra cheese, some mild cheddar, whatever you have on hand, and you're just going to sprinkle it. We never have too much of cheese, right guys? Never. Everything gonna be in the box below. Look at that, look at that. I'll be a big baby. And I'm gonna take this other half of this. It's going on top. And be careful when you do it. Remember, you're building a sandwich. So you're building a sandwich. You want to get those sides in there. And this is going to be topped with some barbecue sauce. This baby big. Like a couple people I know, including myself. <laughs> And it's going to come together. And you don't have to make this much. I'm a family of nine, guys. Okay? And then already got people calling me. My sister, my aunt, my nephew. Can I please get some? What you cooking today? So, I got them coming out getting plates. So, basically what you're going to do, you're going to seal it. Of course, cheese is going to ooze out. When you cook it, because you got the good macaroni cheese in here, and you can use box macaroni, you know. I got to make sure all sides are sealed. Look at that. This ain't coming apart until you cut it, boo. Look at my meatloaf. It's big. It's shaped. It's going to feed my family. It's going in the oven. 375. Perfect. Look at the edges. Joe, get around shots. How it's perfect. All the way around. See that, guys? All the way around. My Milo in the oven, 375. I'm sweating. <laughs> 375 for an hour, 15 minutes, maybe around 125, hour 25, whatever, just to make sure it's done. But in the oven we go, we'll be back when it's ready. Okay, guys, my Milo has about 15 more minutes left, but I stopped it. Look at this. 15 minutes, like you got your last 15 minutes left on your meatloaf, drain the grease off, get your favorite pastry brush, look at all the cheese, in it. look at that, how juicy that is, oh my god, that's delicious, get your favorite barbecue sauce, yes, barbecue sauce, I love a barbecue meatloaf. Some people like, um, what's that stuff called? Ketchup. Only if you want to doll it up with some vinegar, mustard, and um, brown sugar, then you can go ahead and put some ketchup on it. But if you've been playing ketchup, no. A um, good meatloaf has to have a good glaze. And if you use ketchup, you got to amp that ketchup up. Been there, done that, so I know. So I'm just glazing this barbecue sauce on here because it's a barbecue meatloaf. I drained that grease off, and which it wasn't much because it was a lean um, ground beef, and of course it was turkey, so it was not a, was not a whole lot of grease. And I'm gonna put this back in the oven on that last 17 minutes, so that the meat does can finish cooking. This barbecue sauce could stick, yes, and let it finish cooking. And when you take it out, don't cut it right away. You just want to let it rest for a good 10 or 15 minutes. So when you cut into it, that gooey macaroni and cheese and all that. Oh, the eyeballs in the back of the head. Okay, 
back in the oven for the last 17 minutes. Let the um, barbecue sauce or whatever ketchup glaze, whatever you decide to use on top of yours, soak up in there. And when we be back, we're gonna be ready to cut this. Okay guys, we back. My meat will cook approximately an hour, 20, 25 minutes. Are you ready? I'm scared to cut. I was scared to cut it the first time I made this. Ooh, let's cut it too, that meat low. Ooh, it smell good. I don't know how I can push it to the side, but you guys can see in the inside. Okay, how are we going to do this? Oh, you know what? I got to do like a cut right there. It's nice and it's long. And I guess I'm going to need a plate to lift it up. So you guys can see in the inside. But it's cut. Look at the cheese. Look at that. Let me get a plate, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm not going to cut in the middle. Because how am I going to lift the middle up? So let's start at the butt. And lay them down. I said, let's start the butt. But you see how nice and done it is? Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. And let's see if we could, like, we're going to pick this up. You got to let it rest. Yeah, it's going to fall apart. But you got your, whoo, look at my little full stuff. This is a real life stuff, guy. You get your meatloaf and your macaroni. Oh. All at once. And you can just add in your side dishes. Look, you ain't getting the y'all ain't getting the good parts. Let me see. I don't want to cut them too thick. Look at that. Look at that. The meatloaf. The macaroni and the meatloaf. That's how you want it. Mmm. That looks so good. I guess I could just scoot it over and half on my plate. Like, that's a big piece of meatloaf, guys. Look at the cheese with that. It just looks like it's just macaroni and meatloaf. Look at this. Look at that. Add your veggies to it. Yo, whatever you're going to eat, add with it. My version <laughs> of barbecue. Look at that. Barbecue macaroni meatloaf. Mm. Guys, in the link below, before we do the like, share, subscribe, thank everybody who's been voting for me. I entered a FedEx small business grant contest. Um, the link is going to be below. We have until April the 1st to vote. Um, guys, I win $50,000. Well, you may win or somebody may win. The grand prize is $50,000. And I was like, and I found the contest at the last minute. May the 25th was the last day and I did it on Sunday. Found the contest the last minute. Enter the contest. Voting started last month. So, guys, the link is below. It's the FedEx Small Business Grant Contest. Your girl trying to win. It could be a star towards that food truck, a star towards um, a hole in the wall. What I want here in D.C. Guys, go out and vote. You can vote every 24 hours. Thank you so much for supporting me. I could finally let you guys taste things like this if I win. Oh my God. So like, share, subscribe, and vote. You got to April the 1st. Thank you, Soul Squad.